Today we're going to talk about how Disney has ran out of ideas and is trying to oversaturate the market with lesser quality movies. Starting with Mulan. I understand what they were trying to do with Mulan. I really do. It's just that you can't advertise the movie as a live action of the animated movie if it barely follows the plot. It was a good movie, A. I don't care, first of all. I still think it would have been ten times better if they could have used animation. Because CGI, while it was good at the time, like modern CGI has gone downhill, but at the time, it still would have looked nice in the good old hand-drawn animation. It still would have looked good in 3D, but I still do prefer that hand-drawn. My whole beef with it is that Shang wasn't in the movie, Mushu wasn't in the movie. There was no concept of her not knowing who she is. Like, all the character development was not there. The reason those ideas got cut is because they could have um, been connected to controversial ideas at the time of its second releasing, like um, LGBTQ and stuff. That was under a lot of fire at the time. I and mean, the fact that Shang was low-key attracted to Mulan while he thought Mulan was a male? Not low-key, first of all. And yeah, second it wasn't, of all. It wasn't low-key at all. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, but basically, that's the whole problem with it, is that they had to censor a lot of things to pander to a modern audience and to get people to watch it. But Just getting rid of animation, because it's been so villainized, especially with, like, the introduction of anime in the West more so. And you can see this a lot with their other movies that get redone, like, uh... Aladdin? Yeah, that one. Because, wait, didn't Aladdin's genie just... Changed races, went from blue to brown? Well, they had to show off it was Will Smith somehow. Yeah. That's another thing I don't like about new movies, is that they just use celebrities to gain attraction. First of all, since when was, like, Genie buff? Genie, Genie was, like, round and, like, bubbly and, like, all cloud and mystical, like, yeah. Genie, you know who could have played Genie? For real Shaq? Time? No. He already had a Genie movie <laughs> called Kazam, you uncultured swine. First of all... <laughs> Then who? This is Craig all... Robinson. Hoomst? Look, Craig Robinson could have played Genie. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. I feel like he would have been good at it, too. See? Like... He would have could... been actually funny. Exactly. I don't like Will Smith. But my thing is... They he was want... good in Men in Black, but that was about it. He wants to cater to these millennial Gen X audiences. We're not going to talk about that. No, we're not. And I think this is rounding off our amount of time for a recording session. Well, Any final words you'd like to add in? Any final points you'd like to make in like the last minute or so? Yeah, Lion King was a, was a movie that did not need to have a live action. Yes, real quick, I want to mention The Lion King. Sucked. It's CGI. Bad. Just look at Aslan from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. His emotiveness was so much better. I'm going to blow up a few clips in this last desperate second. But after that, that is all we have for now, folks. So um, we will catch you in like five seconds because we're dual recording.